hello everyone welcome back to amin maths club so today we have a nice square root problem which is square root of 144 over 12 minus square root of 143 so we have to solve this and um, we have to just simplify this problem so now first of all we are going to write here that our first step which is 144 over 12 minus square root of 143 now we are going to multiply uh, with conjugate of this 12 minus square root of 143 so conjugate here 12 plus square root of 143 over dividing here 12 plus square root of 143 so now whole square root here whole square root so our next step is now i am going to multiply the numerator with each other which is 144 times 12 plus square root of 143 all over here we see that it is a let us suppose it is a and it is b so a minus b times a plus b we get according to algebraic formula here we get a square minus b square which is equal to a plus b times a minus b so here we just write here that 12 square minus square root of 143 whole square and whole square root now our next step is here 144 times 12 plus square root of 143 all over now 12 square we know that 12 square is equal to what 144 and minus here 143 so we are going to cancel square by square root we have 143 so all over square root then 144 times 12 plus square root of 143 divided by 144 minus 143 we get 1 so square root of 1 is always equal to 1 so here 144 times 12 plus square root of 143 whole square root here we see that uh, if we just separate this um, these two terms here as we know that by um, um, exponential identity that uh, if we have square root of a times b then we can write separately a times square root of a times square root of b so here we just write that 144 square root times 12 plus square root of 143 whole square root so now our next step is as we know then square root of 144 is equal to 12 so square root of here 12 plus square root of 143 so now we see that uh, if we are going to multiply and divide by 2 here inside square root then we get 12 times now here we are going to multiply and divide by 2 by uh, all these terms inside this square root so we get 12 plus square root of 143 here 12 times square root all over 2 and here 2 times multiplying by 12 we get 2 times 12 plus 2 times square root of 143 and now we see that here our next step is if we write this uh that's 12 times square root of 2 times 12 is 24 and plus 2 times square root of 140 3 over 2 and 2 is also the part of here it is under square root so our next step is right now 12 times here 24 can be written as that uh, 13 plus 11 which is equal to 24 so whole square root plus 2 times 143 uh, if you write uh, this 143 like 13 square root times 11 square root then it will be equal to 143 and all over 2 so now our next step is here and this 2 is part of this square root so next 
step is 12 and now we are going to write as we know that uh, 13 is also equal to 13 square root whole square similarly we just write this 11 and uh, there's 11 square root whole square so here we have square root of 13 can be written as 13 square root whole square plus 11 square root whole square now plus 2 times square root of 13 times square root of 11 all over 2 so here we see that uh, inside this square root the numerator shows actually it is a, a nice algebraic formula so we are going to just use here that uh, if we have a plus b whole square then it will be equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times a times b so here now we are going to own um, just like this it is our a and it is our b so we just write here that a which is square root of 13 and plus b is square root of 11 whole square so all over 2 now our next step is 12 just separating this square root with numerator and denominator we get square root of 13 under 13 square root plus 11 square root whole square all over this to have square root of 2 so now our next step is this square can be cancelled out with square root so we have 12 times square root of 13 plus square root of 11 all over square root of 2 so now here we just write that 12 over square root of 2 times square root of 13 plus square root of 11 so here if we multiply and divide by square root of 2 then we have 12 over square root of 2 then multiplying by square root of 2 and dividing by square root of 2 then square root of 13 plus square root of 11 so now here we see that uh, if we just lie, uh, write this 12 times square root of 2 and here we get 2 square root square then we have only 2 so times square root of 13 plus square root of 11 so now 2 1 is 2 2 6 or 12 so 6 times square root of 2 and multiplying by this one then we get times square root of 13 plus 6 square root of 2 multiply by this 11 then square root of 11 so now our next step is here we see that uh, 6 square root of 2 and plus 6 square root of 2 so we are just uh, if we write here square root of 2 times 13 and plus 6 square root of 2 times 11 so our next step is here 6 square root of 26 and plus 6 times square root of 22 so here we just uh, take common here 6 so 6 times square root of 26 plus square root of 22 so it is our simplified form and hence it is our final result that um, we have just simplified this problem so you just check overall solution here step by step i hope you have enjoyed this video so if you have any question any problem you just ask in comment box so that's it for today don't forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting contents thanks for watching goodbye